Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Happy 4th of July. Obviously, it is a big celebration now in the US. Um, um, everyone is hosting like barbecues and everything. So, for today's video, I thought it would be fun to share with you guys how I make a healthy, um, healthy and tasty barbecue. So, I got some groceries and I've got here like the Mary Gone crackers, which I really love. And then I can dip it in like different kind of hummus, arugula for salad. I have like grilled asparagus. I'm gonna uh, prep sweet potatoes already before, so then it's easy. Uh, it's like an easy side dish, some corn, pistachios, um, for some bread. And then I have salmon which are going to season, and this is a beef flank steak. And then in the fridge I have some extra chicken. So what I always try to do with the barbecue is I like to prepare a lot, because when people are here, when you're barbecuing, I don't want to be like in the kitchen cooking. Um, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make a very simple arugula salad, which is cucumber, olive oil dressing, then I'm going to roast sweet potatoes as a side, so we can eat them cold. Um, they're already done, uh, easy. And then for, for the grill, I'm going to make asparagus and slice the zucchini. And then, yeah, corn, easy. And I always like to start the barbecue with some snacks, which is like hummus dips, with crackers, with olives, with cheese, like that kind of stuff. Um, the first thing I'm going to do right now is season the salmon and steak because it needs to marinate. And that's the key for a good barbecue. Let's get cooking! I'm gonna start prepping the sweet potatoes. This is so easy to make far in advance and it is a good filling side dish. I start with cutting the sweet potatoes in half and then again so I have some long pieces. I put them on a baking sheet on a plate and I add some olive oil, garlic powder and some salt. These go in the oven for about 40 minutes on 350 degrees. Then it's time to marinate the salmon and the steak. I bought some wild organic salmon. In a little bowl I put some honey and some Dijon mustard. I put this on the salmon and it get it everywhere. Just for your information, this was actually not really a good idea because the honey started caramelizing on the barbecue and it made a big big mess. It would be better to put this sauce on top after the salmon is grilled. You see, even I learn every day something new. Then I'm going to marinate the steak. I cut two pieces of garlic. Then I add a little bowl with olive oil. I add soy sauce, some vinegar, a little honey, I add some garlic and I whisk everything together. I put the steak in the mixer and I make sure it marinates on every side. I let this sit in the fridge for a couple of hours. The longer you let it marinate, the tastier it's gonna be. Then I'm gonna prep the veggies. I love to barbecue them because they barely need anything. I cut the zucchini in long slices. I add this to a bowl and I add olive oil, salt and pepper. Asparagus are actually also really great and easy for the barbecue. They are in season now, so they are extra delicious. I take off the end of the asparagus because that's the part which is not so tasty. I put some olive oil on here and salt and pepper. What time is it? I think I made in 35 minutes a barbecue for about like 10 or more people. So it can be very simple. Um, just to start, you have like bread and I have like the crackers and like fruits and then I'm gonna have guacamole and just need some hummus. Um, these are in the oven for later. Oh, they're burning. Uh oh, okay, I need to take those out. Little brown, but they're okay. 
So obviously you can buy hummus just out of the store, but for today I am going to make it myself. So you don't need many ingredients at all. I have some chickpeas, garlic, cumin, lemon, organic tahini, and I'm going to make sweet potato version. These are a little bit burnt. Um, I'm gonna make an original one and with sweet potato. And obviously I have some salt and pepper. So yeah, this is what I'm gonna make. Okay, now we're gonna make some fresh hummus. So delicious and easy to make for a big group of people. I open up a can of cooked chickpeas. I always rinse these off under water to get rid of the salt. Then I grab my little Ninja bullet. You can use a food processor as well. I put half a can of chickpeas in the Ninja bullet. I cut half a lemon. I add one garlic cut in pieces. I squeeze the lemon. Then I add one big tablespoon of organic tahini made out of sesame seeds. Mine is from the brand Seed Plus Mill from Whole Foods. Then I add some pepper, salt, olive oil, and I add two tablespoons of water. I mix this all together, and it's done. Fresh, original hummus. You can make so many variations, and for today I chose to do a sweet potato version. I start with the same ingredients. Half a can of chickpeas, one piece of garlic, one spoon of tahini, olive oil, salt, and then I grab a couple sweet potatoes. Just make sure they are cold. And I add these without the skin to the processor. I mix everything together. And it's done. So right before my guests come, I start to make an arugula salad. I start with cutting some small sweet tomatoes. Then I grab one pack of arugula and I add this to a big bowl. I add the tomatoes to this. I add some roasted pumpkin seeds. And I shave some fresh Parmesan cheese. I kind of miss Europe for its fresh cheeses. If I don't have Parmesan, I also really like to put feta in there. Then I'm going to make a dressing with some olive oil. I squeeze half a lemon, salt and pepper. And I mix this through the salad. And it's done. 